Okay, this is the continuation of the software demo for uh, the Scenic Ridge uh, layout. So let's look at how RockRail is uh, configured and works. Okay, here we've got RockRail uh, started and now as you can see it's a little different than uh, JMRI. This has more of a European type feel. Now, there's a couple of programs, I think iTrain and um, Train Controller, and both of them have this similar type format, which uh, both of those uh, programs are written by uh, developers in Europe. So, this has a different feel to it, a different uh, kind of look but then also the way that uh, people model in Europe is more so towards the passenger train uh, setup or configuration because that's what they see mostly and then in the US we uh, model mostly freight trains because that's what we see we mostly see the freight trains and container trains going uh, on the rail more so than let's say Amtrak and and whatnot so the um the layout here you see on the left it's got the locomotive that's a list of the roster if you select the uh locomotive it controls from this panel here and if you double click on it it can give you your own throttle window and you can control the train uh as well so let's close that out then here is a typical dashboard then on the right hand side this is the layout and now you can kind of see it's the um, rendering of scenic ridge here's the city here here's the loops the two loops the inner and outer loop that goes around the city then here's the yard uh, the siding and then the this is the the tunnels here and this is that little area uh above the um the second level this is that little turnout that uh, i had in, installed now i've got blocks here and the rock rail considers these blocks and we kind of look at them as stations because uh, stations in our the way that we see it is where you stop and uh, blocks are just the areas or the segments of the track but in rock rail the block is an actually stopping point and uh, I put in six of them here because these are the areas that the train can actually stop and then now you give the ability for the program to manipulate the train and to stop it in certain areas so I've got two stops here or blocks in the the tunnel uh, or under the mountain in that in the tunnel now what makes it kind of easy is um, when it comes to the automation and things like that once you have your plan set and then you create all of the routes then it's a whole list of routes and for um, rock rail to get from uh, point A to point B so you would see that there's block like one and then to block four and the only thing you have to do is to go in and drag and drop uh, the locomotive and then select uh, whatever the destination is and then the train will then use those routes to uh, control the uh, train and get from destination A to B so this is a lot easier than what you would have to do in uh, JMRI or in uh, Panel Pro so if you come here and right click you can go in and reset it and clear it uh, the key to this is the sensor so here I've got the locomotive is sitting there on um, in the block that's called the North Ridge and if we move it forward here make sure I got it 
So if we move the train forward, then you can see it went in from uh, this block. It's exiting, and now it's sitting in the uh, th this air this uh, sensor here. It's tripped it, which we know it's called the that west ridge, and this is right before the tunnel. So if we continue on. the train will then go around the curve and then enter inside into the tunnel and then as soon as it gets into that tunnel you'll see that it will trigger so now it entered the tunnel and then it just exit that west that west ridge so this is how the system will keep track of where the train is and then it knows that it's entered into this block it tricks the uh, uh trips the um the sensor and also to make it more um to make to give a higher resolution for rock rail if you add uh for each block you add three sensors so what you end up doing is having a sensor at the beginning which means that it enters and it triggers the enter then you have it uh, a sensor a second sensor that shows the occupancy and then you have the third which would be like an exit uh, sensor and then that will give you exact control over the block so uh, the block so the the program will know exactly where the train is and then when it stops it hits the second trigger it knows that it's occupied and then that third trigger will be the exit trigger so as soon as it goes it hits exit and then once the exit clears then it knows okay that train is gone and now it's more uh, kind of detailed or the resolution is higher in what the uh, engine will see or not engine I'm sorry what rock rail will see so this kind of I'll close it here it's just enough to kind of show you what you can do and then you can expound upon scenic ridge and even though it is small uh, and compact it can be uh, uh, an exciting layout to kind of play around with so even if the guy has space constraints and he can only have a three by six uh, layout it's small but then at least it's complete and you'll be able to do uh, everything else that you know a large layout does so hopefully this helps you guys uh, in your build and uh, like usual like subscribe and share so we'll talk to you later bye